Hello, BookTube. I have a couple of mail packages for you. I haven't done mail in a bit. I've set them aside and sort of uh, offhandedly thought I'll just leave them there until the pile grows a little. And it finally dawned on me uh, that the pile's not going to grow. <laughs> that it's, it's not going to get any bigger than it is and that I don't want it to. There are, isn't anybody in the mail rooms. There isn't anybody at the publishing houses. There isn't anybody at the printing presses. There isn't anybody in the publicity department to package and mail these things out with a nice friendly note. There isn't anything like that, and I don't want there to be. I don't want anybody putting their health at risk for something as, as frivolous as that, especially when the whole of the reading world, especially the whole of the critical world, has e-copies. It's not like we're looking for a hard-to-find, out-of-print uh, analog stuff. We, so uh, when I realized that, I thought, well, we should open these two packages. But I also realized something else, something rather, rather melancholy, which is that we'll probably not do it again, at least for the foreseeable future. That is the, that is the pat phrase that we are all using these days, for the foreseeable future, to mean for the rest of our lives. We, I have no idea if we will ever do mail again, so I figured we'd at least do these packages. They're both thin, and there's no boxes. So it'd be a little bit much to hope for a Steve book, a squealer, <laughs> uh, for these two packages. But we'll see what they are. We'll see if they're of any interest. Uh, it won't be a long video, that's for sure. Uh, what is this first one? Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Uh, well, all right, this is unexpected. Uh, this is the Yale Jewish Live series. Yale University Press has done a series of little books, thin, you know, read it in one sitting hardcovers, called the Jewish Live series. Uh, I have read and reviewed, I've read quite a few of them, I've reviewed a few of them, uh, and this is one of the latest ones. This comes out in late April. This is by uh, Leo Leibowitz, and this is Stan Lee, <laughs> A Life in Comics. And of course I'm wondering, uh, well, we, well, let's see, let's see what we have here. Few artists have had as great an impact on American popular culture as Stan Lee. The characters he created, Spider-Man and Iron Man, the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, occupy Hollywood's imagination and production schedules, generate billions at the box office, and come as close to anything as anything we have to a shared American mythology. I'd actually agree with that last claim. Um, although, uh, the great characters of DC Comics, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, come a lot closer to that. I think in a generous reading would say that comic book characters, just in general. Uh, uh, let's see here. On April 21st, the prize-winning Jewish Lives series will publish Leo Leibowitz's rich and original meditation on the deeply Jewish and surprisingly spiritual roots of Stan Lee and Marvel Comics. Okay, <laughs> all right, fantastic. Uh, fantastic. So the author is uh, is the author of Broken Hallelujah, Rock and Roll, Redemption, and the Life of Leonard Cohen. He is the senior writer for Tablet Magazine and a co-host of its popular podcast, Unorthodox. Uh, and he's young. He is too young to have grown up with. Uh, he's grown up with the works of Stan Lee, but he's too young to remember when Marvel Comics started. Uh, so he, it's always been a part of his life. We shall see what that if that has any effect on the book. All right. Well, great. Not a Steve book, but certainly something that I will read right now. I will, I will read it as soon as I turn off the camera. Uh, that's just too interesting. <laughs> a biography of Stan Lee. I've read a few of them. Uh, I, this thing is blurred by Danny Fingeroth, who I think is, was the author of the last biography of Stan Lee that I read. Much longer than this. Three times or four times as long. But, uh, great. Fantastic. I, myself, am a big fan of the work of Stan Lee. Uh, all right, so that's one. Now we'll do the other one, uh, which is a, a cardboard package here. This is from the University of Chicago Press. Oh, okay. All right, this is a paperback original. We've already seen this. This is the finished copy of Ben Crane's Blood Ties, a study of falconry and fatherhood. Both an uncanny, brilliant evocation of the falconer's art and a moving story of a man's discovery of how to be a father. Blood Ties is a memoir as compelling and feathered with insights into the natural world and human heart as is the beloved H is for Hawk, clearly the demographic being gone for here, and yet it is a story wholly its own, at once deeply personal and soaring across the globe, bringing us eye to eye with raptor species from rural England, Pakistan, Croatia, the United States, and more. This is a book about a man's relationship with hawks, his self-education as a falconer, and his discovery that despite his Asperger's syndrome, he can forge a loving bond with the young son he thought he had lost. 
so do I remember correctly this has a blurb by uh, Helen McDonald? Well, no, not on this one anyway, not on the finished copy. Uh, so this comes out in uh, on April 7th, the, you know, uh, just, just a tiny bit of time from now. Uh, it comes lav lavished with blurbs, and uh, this is the finished, a uh, paperback original. So uh, $18, I think when I, we got the original, the uh, advanced copy of this thing, uh, I was praising it. I was wondering, I was thinking, isn't that great? You'll be able to go to your bookstore and just buy it, but there are no bookstores open. Uh, so you can get the digital copy, or if you have, uh, maybe, maybe some of you have an online book distributor. I don't think Amazon is delivering books, are they? Uh, but maybe there are people still delivering physical books to your address. That that would be great. I, I haven't tried it. I haven't explored it myself for Boston. I don't. I just haven't seen the reason to do it when I'm up to my ham hocks and books here. Uh, but there you go. So two nonfiction, two biographies. Basically, this is Blood Ties by Ben Crane about falconry. So for the H's for hawk crowd, but also about fatherhood, about uh, overcoming his own obstacles in order to bond with his son. And Leo Leibowitz's book, the latest in the Jewish Live series, uh, A Life of Stan Lee, A Thin, Accessible Life of Stan Lee. This series is really good. If I remember, I'll link uh, the reviews that I've done for it so far. And that is it. Uh, it's it's a properly biographical. It's properly nonfiction. The books aren't huge, but uh, they can't have everything. <laughs> and that that is it. That is our last mail haul uh, on this channel. So... Uh, at least, uh, like I said, for the foreseeable future. I don't want uh, anybody to risk their health or the health of their loved ones to mail me books. So, so I will, we will shutter the mail for the time being, and I couldn't, I couldn't do that without thanking you all one more time. <laughs> thanking you so much for all these years opening my mail with me. It's been such an enormous joy to open these things and just react directly to you that has been so much fun and I, I that would seem very self-centered of me except that I've heard from a great deal of you over the over the years saying that it really does help that it helps your TBR that it helps you to have a sense of what you're seeing that's new in the bookstore uh, that, it, that it's interesting for you so so I want to I'm buoyed by that and I want to thank you I want to thank you very much for going through my mail with me who knows when we'll do it again uh, you'll be, as I always say, the first to know. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap this up, uh, but I'll be back. Thank you, BookTube.